Hello my little chefs. It is Thursday and five o'clock and today we are making a spaghetti carbonara. Um, hello, hello, hi. Hello guys, can I please have my junior chef's name so I can write them up? Hello Molly, hello Georgia. Georgia, Molly. Hello, Supreme Hotel. Hello, Tilly. Hello, Chef Alice. Archie. Hey, Archie and Ava. Ava. Lenny. Hello, Lenny. Chef Lenny. Oh, and Ned. Tessa and Hannah. Hello, Tessa and Hannah. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Miss Chef Tilly. Soph and Anna. Hello, Soph and Anna. Okay, cool. <gasps> have I got everyone now? I have got Archie and Ava. Yep. I think I've forgotten someone. Ah! Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hello, Ward. Is this Chef Billy with me? I'm hoping so. Okay. So I'm going to call out everyone's name to make sure that I have got everyone. <gasps> hey, Em, who's cooking with you today? Is anyone cooking with you? Hello, Charlotte. Are you cooking with me? <laughs> All right. So I've got Chef Georgia, Chef Molly, Chef Tilly, Chef Alice, Chef Archie and Ava, uh, Chef Lenny, Chef Tessa and Hannah. Chef Soph, Soph, Soph and Ava. I can't even understand my own writing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, first off, before we start, I want to say welcome to my kitchen. And I'd also like to acknowledge that I am on Watch of Bolic Country and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Cool. So, what we're doing, because past is such... A big story, and if you talk to any, especially Italian families, um, their stories are so humble, and I learn a lot from um, my Italian friends. But to save face, I've taken this recipe out of um, the Broadsheet Italian Cookbook, just because I'm not Italian, and I didn't want to make a recipe and everyone be like, oh, you should have done it like this, or you should have done it like that. So I'm following this recipe, and it is from Mario's, okay? So what I've done, my little chookies that, oh, sorry, there's a cord there. My chookies that I've been showing you guys have given me the eggs. So we're going to separate those. I've got my cream. I've got my cheese. It might be a little bit less because I have a habit of eating a lot of cheese. I'm just gonna open up this door. Oh. And I've got my, oh, where did that egg go? <laughs> I've got my bacon and just some bowls. So what we're going to start off with first is we'll chop up our bacon, okay? So if you haven't, if you have chopped that up, awesome. Just hang out with me for a little bit. Be awesome ask me some questions if you're that prepared so bacon if it's got the big rind on there make sure you take that off and little chefs they can do this uh, use a little knife if they've got a knife but give them let them have a go at using the big chef's knife okay so oh, is Eloise and Ruby here Kate I hope they are Miss Eloise and Ruby I miss them now, with your blade, you're going to have it half handle and half blade. Blade. <laughs> handle and blade. So you just hold it half and half. I do. But if you hold it just by the handle, that is fine. And you're just going to leave the tip of the blade there. And you just kind of pick it up. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. And we're just going to slice. So I'm going about. Let me move around. Move my cream. Okay. So I'm just going to go through here. So it's like about, they're kind of like, they're called bat battens. So it's about that thickness, okay? So cut your bacon up. You can sing a song while you're cutting, I don't mind. 
sing a song. What's a bacon song? Bacon, bacon, pancakes. Ah. Eloise is cooking. Ah! Hello, my little chef, Eloise. That is awesome. Remember? <laughs> I do remember. I love bacon. I do try to cut out meat here and there when I can throughout the week, but sometimes bacon's just talks to my heart, you know? Okay. So I just got my batons like that. Putting them into a bowl. And then, because you're cutting raw meat onto the chopping board, you're going to wash it straight away because what happens with raw meat, it's got bacteria on there. So if you started cutting up some apples that you're going to cut that bacteria that's on the knife and the board goes on the apple. So you just have to make sure that you wash up after yourself. And I know you guys do because you're awesome little chefs. Okay. Because you're amazing. I love bacon. Did I tell you guys that I love bacon? I missed you guys. I hope you're all having a beautiful week. The sun came out here today. I might even take you guys out to see the chooks. To see the ladies. <laughs> I do talk to them. I went out and tried to give them some feed from my hand, but they're a little iffy still. So it hasn't even been a week and I want them to love me already. I just love them because they're giving me eggs. All right, I'm gonna get rid of my board. Not throw it out, just wash it. I don't think you need it again anyway, so. And, how are we going? We're going to separate the eggs next, okay? You guys have 30 chickens. What do you do with all your eggs? That's awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know whether I can handle 30. I let mine free range and already there's um, chip droppings on my uh, foot pass already. And I'm like, if that's the price I've got to pay. All right, I'll stop talking now. So, hey Bundy, hello, hello, hello. Um, remember how to crack eggs, my little chefs? If I'm going too fast, you know the drill, tell me to slow down. So you've got your bacon cut up, and now we're going to separate the eggs. Okay, so you need two bowls. Okay, so with the egg, we go three taps, and then put your thumbs in, and then Actually, I just nearly opened that up. So. <laughs> Leave one half. See how I'm letting that slide off? And then we play tennis. Okay. Oh, these yolks are so bright. Oh, I'm going to drop it on the name. So can you see that? Look at that. Oh, what did I say? Happy hen, happy egg? No. <laughs> okay, let's go again. One, two, three. Put your thumbs in. And then take the top off. Let the egg white fall off and then play tennis. There we go. Hey, Connor. What have you done? Oh, cool. We have three, we have 100. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. My hands are getting dirty with this one. I think eggs, lemons um, are on the top of my favorite ingredients list. They are. What's your favorite ingredient? The best ingredient, not product. So I don't want you to write chocolate, but what's your favorite ingredient? It can be a spice. It can be a fruit or a vegetable. It can be anything. Cool. I got shell in there. So what I'm going to do... I'm show you a trick. So you use your, you have blue eggs. Oh my gosh, you need to take some photos for me, Peter, and send it through, please. I'm very intrigued. I have, use your eggshell. If you get some egg in there, it's totally okay because we're going to fix it. But I use that and it works like a magnet. See? It's like, boom, a fridge to a magnet. How cool is that? All right, we ready? I'm talking a lot. 
I'm just so excited you guys are cooking with me tonight. High five. You guys are amazing. All right. Molly thinks mangoes. Lemon to chicken. Lemon. Yep. Cool. Wow. Awesome. All right. So what I'm going to do now, has everyone cooked their pasta? I didn't even ask. I did put up there to cook your pasta per packet instructions. So I just want to make sure if you haven't cooked your pasta, put on some water now and bring that to the boil and we can make the sauce, still make the sauce with me, but you'll just have to add your pasta after. Okay. But what I've done, I've already cooked my pasta, but I want to show you how to um, drain the kids for this lip, for, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> for my junior chef. I just want to show you them how to drain. So when you're old, old enough, when you're like taller and you can move stuff around the kitchen, when you finish the pasta is cooked, which one do I put it up in here? So I only ever grab it by the handle and you're going to bring it over and I've already got, see my strainer in there? And then you just tip it out, okay? I don't want to lose that water. But then what I usually do is with the strainer, I'll put that back on the pot and then you move it back over to the stove top because with using that you're still going to get your pasta water right? and also if you've got the sink to the to the oven the water's not going to fall on the ground so you're not going to flip over and then you're not going to hurt yourself which is awesome all right you ready to cook i'm ready oh the sound what sound can you guys hear me why is my sound going off? Can I get a check? The sound's gone off. Can you guys hear me? Oh, okay. Maybe it's my internet. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Just let me know when you can. I'm not, nothing's changed here. Oh, bugger. All right. Now. Bring your bacon, your eggs, your cheese, and your cream over. How much did you guys miss? You were muffling. Maybe that was just how I speak, because we know that it stopped the sound. So thumbs up that you can hear me. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. I do mumble a little bit because when I get so excited, I just, I've got to slow down a little bit. All right. Now, little chefs, you need your guardian to turn this on for you. Okay. So get them to turn it on. And if it, you've got a high heat, when it's on the bench, it stops the sound coming through. Okay. I might. So you still can't hear me. You can hear me. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do the thumbs down if you can't hear me. All right. So high heat and then um, just under a high heat to medium. Okay. So you're going to put your bacon in. All right. All your bacon. Put your bacon in. You can put a touch of oil in there. High five. I need some audio people. I need someone just to take control of that so I can just talk food with you guys. All right, so the trick with heat is you can render the bacon, so bring it to a low heat and then bring it up, but we wanna make sure that we cook this bacon. You want it crispy? Oh, don't use your fingers, sorry. Add it. So let the heat get in there. Can you see that okay? I'll move this little pot. I don't want to move this again, just in case I can't hear you. Oh, <laughs> just in case you guys can't hear me, my little chef. All right. So, big people, just watch the little chef here. Little chef, I don't want any flame to be coming like around. Okay, you need to have 
that flame directly under. Alright? So never put your hand in there. Always hand on the handle and use a wooden spoon. Just give it a mix. Just mix it around. You guys can do this. We got this. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Just be safe. That's where you have to be. The little guys, my little chefs can do this. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. you know I'll show you what mine looks like. I don't want to stuff around with it just in case I lose this again. Okay. There we go. So what we do is we cook the bacon off, we add the cream, and then we reduce the cream. So if you wanted to make, oh my gosh, there are so many different variations. So sometimes like a typical pub carbonara is like onion and garlic, and then they saute off the bacon. Sometimes they throw some mushrooms in there, a little bit of stock, a little bit of cream. They reduce it and they add the pasta. Okay, so this is a traditional one from the Italian cookbook. Okay, but the cool thing is once you figure out how to make a pasta sauce, you can change it. So if you want to add onion and garlic and you want to add chicken, you add it. Okay, you want to add a little bit of chili, you add a little bit of chili. What else can you add? Uh, if you want to make it vegetarian and just do some vegetables and, and a tomato sauce, so instead of adding the cream, you add the tomato sauce. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because I'm getting impatient. God! <laughs> Has anyone got any questions for me? My little superstars. My little superstars. Okay, so Chef Georgia, Chef Lenny, Chef Tessa and Hannah, Chef Sophie and Ava, Chef Tilly. I'm so glad that you're joining in. I miss you and I can't wait to see you. And Chef Molly and Chef Alice and Chef Archie and Billy for tomorrow night and Chef Eloise. I'm so proud of you all. This is going to be delicious. And guess what? The big people can have some grape juice to go with it. I give you permission. I do like a grape juice with a nice pasta. Oh, Chef Jazz and Aki. Sorry, guys. Oh, Chef Jazz. Ah, oh, Nabil Stiffy. No, oh, he's one of my old students. Hello, my friend. Ah. Oh. Chef Nabil, he's one of my big chefs. I trained him at Tully and he done the deadly bush food dinners with me. Superstar. Loves it. Oh, Chef Liam. Oh, Liam, I'm so sorry. How did you go with the hummus the other night? Mine's so sweet. That's okay. Fourth time, Chef. I know. There's no judgment in my kitchen, guys. Okay, I'm just... I'm doing my best, so I'm joking, I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, so my bacon is getting to the point where I want it. I'll show you. And if you do want to deglaze with a little bit of wine, so deglaze is when it gets all that beautiful crust on the base, and you can, but the little chef can't. This is for the big people. If you do want to deglaze, you add that now as well. Oh, perfect. Well done. I'm good, thanks, Nabil. All right, so I'll show you what mine looks like. And what we're going to do. Okay. Cool. So we're going to add the cream. Hey, Thomas. I'm going to add the cream to mine. If yours isn't cooked enough, just let it cook a bit longer. It's a bit 
hitting at me now. It's like, hurry up with your cream. Um, that's your cream. This smells so good. But just now, I'll turn I'll turn you back around. We're going to bring it to the boil and then turn it down because it reduces. So what it means when it reduces the liquid, um, we don't have as much liquid as what we had. So we want to reduce it nearly by half before we add the cheese and the egg yolks in. Okay. So how am I doing your shelves? That's what it looks like. Ah, oh, just the cream, please. Sorry if I keep cutting out. My service is, Wi-Fi is being emotional and my service is just whatever. But yeah, so all I've got in there is just the bacon and the cream. That's it. That's it for now. We're just going to reduce it. I hope I'm still there, guys. I'm sorry if I keep cutting out. It's so... I don't know. You're still a better cook at Tully High. Ah, oh, thanks to Bill. <laughs> I was up there in May and we done uh, a bush foods night at the Garrigan Centre, so that was cool. Got the birdie can chuck me back and we made the arancini balls as well. Yeah. That was two years ago. Oh, it's boiling. It's magic. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, if I'm going to, thank you, um, I'm going to add half the palms in now. We both are, what are you, what are you like, 19, 40, old and embracing it, I love it. Okay, should it be bubbling? Yep, so if it's bubbling, turn it down because you don't want it to boil over, but keep it to a medium to high heat, okay? Oh, mine's bubbling. Oh, what are you talking about? Mine, mine's bubbling. Okay, I'm going to add half the cheese. I'm going to add some salt. Oh my goodness, look at all that cheese. I'm so excited. Salt and pepper. No, no eggs. Don't add them. Don't add the eggs. Don't add the eggs. Not yet. Alright. So what I've got is that's my sauce. I've got the cream, the cheese, and the bacon, and the seasoning. And that's all that's in there. Now what we're going to do. Better taste it actually. Holy dooly, that is delicious. That is amazing. Okay. Now, we're going to add the pasta and then I'll just see. You're going to add your pasta in. All right, I'm using my hands. If you've got a small pan, just throw this back into your pasta pan. Now you're going to mix that through. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for my grape juice to go along with it. Okay. So what happens with the egg yolks is because you want to make sure that you've mixed it. Now, if you haven't got enough liquid in there you can add more cream and please feel free to add like a ladle like a big couple of heap teaspoons of the pasta water if you've got any left use it okay it just stretches it out a little bit 
So I'm just mixing that. Oh, wow. That looks so good. With your egg yolks from my beautiful my ladies. Pretty ladies. Fat fork. You're gonna mix it. Just mix them a little bit. Alright. And then you're going to add that. Am I going too fast? Ah! Sorry if I'm going too fast. I've got to get this egg yolks in. So I'm gonna put the egg yolks in, stir it, and serve it. Alright. So here we go. You ready? And I can't have the phone in my other hand. So just mix it as you go. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. My eggs are so like yellow. I love it. Oops. So good sorry i sorry i was mesmerized by the pasta it looks bloody amazing i'm so excited i'm just adding a little bit more pasta to that and then we're going to serve it up i've got two different types of pasta in there because i had two half packets of pasta in my pantry and i use as you know with these classes we use what we have so mine might look as, ama as amazing as my junior chefs, my awesome junior chefs. Chef Tilly, Chef Eloise and Chef Molly. They are like the messiahs of these classes. They have done so many. Okay, we're done. How are you guys going? I'm gonna move you over to where? That's my water and pestle, but just so I can hold you up, okay? So, can you see me okay? I think I just put past the sauce in my nose. Do you want something? Come join me. Come and join me and have pasta with me. Let's eat together. Please, my little chefs. How cool would that be? All right. Going to serve up. Because it's just Patty and I. So I've got two bowls. And then guess what we're having for lunch tomorrow? Pasta. Pasta goes in after. So the last little bit. Okay. Now... If you want to, let's see if I've got a big Chef Alice. That's okay. Cook it tomorrow night. Cook it every night. Just enjoy. Oh, wow. cool is that oh i'm so excited for this well i thought i might do the same too kate so i might actually i've never really mastered a meringue i just and i think that pavlova actually and i think that's my calling this lockdown oh sorry i didn't mean to say the swear word then you're all good yeah sweet absolutely. thanks tom yeah bye Okay, I just had a water tank put in. So, there we go. I'm going to put some cheese on top. And I thought I might take you guys outside and show you where my parsley is. And the girls, while you guys are um, just finishing up. So, I'll turn you around. We'll see if we can find the ladies. Where are they? Chuk, chuk. They're probably, oh, they're already in there. Here, I'll show you guys. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, just mix the egg yolks at the end. Hello, look what 
hurt for you. Come on. Do you want to say hi to the girl? Yeah, I know. Come on. There's Snowball. Hey, buddy. I just got some scraps for him. That is delicious. There you go. That's for my next door neighbours. I'm like, hey, keep your scraps for our chooks. There you go. You can go back in. Have a good night. Thank you for my eggs. You guys are amazing. All right. So I'll just take it to my parsley. Sorry. And then we'll go back inside and just serve, like finish your garnish. So you can add your parsley when you're stirring. Here's my some parsley. Um, and I'm just going to grab that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. <laughs> They're funny. And how cool are they? I love the chooks. They're just the coolest. So you can either just break up your parsley or you can... Uh, cut it up however you want to do it but because your knife and board should be clean from earlier because you don't want to cut it with the raw bacon okay cool so i'm just going to cut that and then put some parsley on top yum how are my little junior chefs going? You guys all served up? That's what I love about aprons. It's like a tea towel. Tea towel, tea towel. How cool is that? Yum. So, I'm just doing that to make him have awesome. Yep, so the egg, yep, egg whites, awesome. And yeah, how cool is that? We are done. Done and dusted. Are there any questions? So just to remind, that wasn't my recipe. It's a recipe spaghetti carbonara from the Broad Sheet Italian Cookbook. Okay, good. Uh, so if there's any questions, please message me. Uh, can I please have some photos? Feel free to um, put them on your story and tag me or just send them through to me because I love seeing little chefs with their products. And Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, we're going to make a vanilla slice. We got this. A little bit more of a complex process. Not bad because I got you back, but we will we'll get it done. And it'd be cool because it's a different thing rather than a biscuit or a cake. And I didn't want to make a hedgehog because you guys can do that. You guys are already like master chefs. <laughs> Kicking goals. I'm so proud of you all. Um, yeah. Go and eat. Um, that was me. No, you guys. I would love if you, we were all around the table together and eating this and enjoying um, together. Please reach out if you need anything and check in on your neighbours and other people around you. Thanks, Em. And we'll see each other face to face soon enough. My little chefs, I love you all. I am so proud of you. High five. Okay. Vanilla Slice, Saturday, 10 a.m. If you haven't got something, please message me and I'll give you a substitute. You know how we roll. We got this. Look. <laughs> See ya. Bye.